Okay, so we are Housewives of Salt Lake City, season four, episode 12. This is so quick because not much happens. This is completely a filler episode. Heather is at Angie's house discussing the Pioneer event. Um, she makes mention about, well, Monica's emotions are so all over the place. Um, Whitney and her husband, they go to therapy. And, you know, I'm going to be honest, this is one of the reasons why I went to therapy alone. Um, and I am definitely going to go back to therapy because we worked through some of the issues with my uncle's death and my mother at the moment. Anyway, um, but when I was really going, I really went for myself and even when Henry and I, my husband and I, were thinking of going to couples therapy, one of my biggest gripes or the thing in the back of my head was, if this leads to a divorce. And I think it's kind of interesting where they had Whitney and my husband and her husband were like, look, this therapy discussion, every time they leave therapy, it doesn't make them better. <laughs> They're like, look, they keep looking at each other like, I don't know if we're going to make it. But the conversation that they had with uh, Meredith and Seth, they felt that that was useful. And maybe that is a conversation because they, you know, therapy tends to drudge up some issues that you already are having. And it wants you to confront them. Um, and it makes you want to confront, you know, when you confront them, your feelings get hurt. And a lot of times you're like, oh, I don't know if we should, you know, continue to go down this road um, instead of tackling them and, and moving through. So um, therapy is not easy to do. Um, anyway, so she's also begins to talk about her friend that's suffering from cancer and the fact that death is on the horizon. Meredith and Lisa um, get into it over they get into it again. They have lunch and honestly they get into it so much that I lose track of like, what are we getting into it again? Um, they get over like just how they treat each other. Like the conversation is just, to me, I I kind of zoned out on it. I have to, I apologize. And I didn't want to rewind. Um, anyway, Monica and Mary, Monica comes to Mary's house and Mary is pretty much this whole season is like, I checked out um, for like really being, I want to be on the show, but I don't want to be around you people. <laughs> um, so Monica comes to Mary's house and they have a discussion about how do you deal with these women? And she's specifically talking about Lisa and Monica and Mary's advice. It's like, you just have to be nice. And I'm just like, Mon. I was like, Mary, you got a lot of nerve trying to tell somebody that you they just have to be nice the nerve um considering how you aren't that nice to people at all just just to just to be honest um anyway angie calls whitney because her friend dies whitney's friend dies so angie calls whitney to comfort her um, Lisa is going shopping for her son and she is literally like trying to make, um, she's trying to spruce up the outfits and it's like, ma'am, this is supposed to be a moment where he is not going to be the most fashion forward. It's not about fashion, just so you know, poor Lisa. Um, and he tell and her son is like, look, I need this separation from you because you are smothering. And she, she doesn't, who, no mother wants to hear this. 
um, my son sat me down one day and was like, look, mom, I'm going to have a wife. And I'm like, he goes, mom, I have to break this to you. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to get married one day. And I was like, you're seven. <laughs> so I get this. Nobody wants to hear their son saying that you need to separate from me. Um, Heather, um, Mona, Heather and Monica talk. Monica apologizes. Of course, Heather accepts the apology. Monica does flips out quite a bit and then apologizes. Like I said, her emotions, you know, she either needs to go to therapy, she may need like medical visits. I don't know, but her emotions are so scattered and she really needs to think about this. Meredith's event. Oh yes, Meredith's event. Whitney tells her that her friend dies. Meredith is like comforting her, crying. I can't believe that you're really going through. Um, Meredith gives a speech about how much she appreciates Seth. Seth's like, what is happening? And I think it's kind of cool because the first season or two, people were like, what's going on with Meredith and Seth's relationship? It was, even though she was upset that people were having rumors about her and her husband not being together and her cheating and all this other stuff. It did feel like they were having issues in their marriage and it felt like Meredith and Seth weren't really good. And it's nice to see that they're around each other more and they seem to be a lot better. So I think that's cool. However, it is kind of interesting to know um Lisa has made comments about who knows what house Meredith is in because where she lives because she moves around a lot she's in rentals all the time um anyway Lisa and Monica talks um and at the event and Monica apologizes to Lisa again um Heather and you know Seth are talking and Seth is like, look, Heather, we're going to find you a man. What's your ideal man? And she's like, just cut his head off. And it's like, that's not a ideal look. Um, Whitney and Lisa um, talks about Meredith um, and tells her about her friend's death. Lisa wants to talk to Whitney about Meredith and Whitney's like look I don't have the capacity for this my friend just died and Lisa is on eggshells about this and she doesn't particularly comfort her she's like oh she's like yes 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 I know she sends her flowers you know I really want to understand where Whitney's coming from the issue is that what I don't understand and I agree with Lisa completely on this everybody mourns differently I am the kind of chick that mourns, I will tell you what happened, but I am not the one who I hate when people are like, I'm, let me pray for you right now and break into prayer. And that happened to me when it comes to my uncle dying. I had so many people who wanted to break into a prayer with me right there. And, and I'm just like, but I appreciate that this is what you feel is what I need. And I do need prayer for sure. But I deal with grief so privately. And there are moments where I start crying about all the things that are happening, but I'm just not a, um, a person who wants a bunch of hugs from random people. And, and nor do I demand for people to do this to me. So I can understand Lisa. And because I'm a private person that way, I am the kind of person who will be like, who will send you positive com. you know, I love you today. You know, I'll send you letters. I'll send you a card. Those are the kind of things that I'll do to kind of encourage you. But I'm not 
Um, so I'm kind of on the Lisa train here. So with Whitney, she wants the center of attention, everyone hugging her, being, even though she doesn't want to be the center of attention, she claims, but she does. So Monica talks about um, family and gives out this gift. She gives everybody rum and some dessert um, and gives that out to talk about, you know, to try to make up for her really pathetic response the day before. Um... Whitney does talk to Meredith's son, and Meredith's son also comforts her. Um, so Lisa again and Whitney are talking, and Lisa and Whitney is just like, like I want to hug some acknowledgement. Lisa's like, I sent you flowers. They have this huge blow up. Lisa's like, I'm not self centered. I'm not this. Take off my stuff. I can't do this right now. I'm done. And then, of course, Lisa's husband chases after her. And here we are. 